So I'll, I'll go ahead and turn, it, turn the tablet on now. We'll boot up Windows and we'll take a closer look at how amazing this Samsung Slate 7 really is. One of the fantastic things about the Slate 7 is that it boots up incredibly fast, even if you do shut down Windows. Of course, you can always use standby mode, which works very well in Windows 7. Um, and I'll show you that here. I just simply put it into standby mode there and you'll see that the light on the side is flashing. To come back out of standby mode, I press the button and we're on again. Now, sleep mode still uses a little bit of power. Um, you can, of course, with a, a Windows 7 tablet, use Hibernate mode as well. And the Samsung has a very fast Hibernate speed. It's got some clever technology in there that allows you to go in and out of Hibernate very fast. Okay, so let's see how quickly it boots up and shuts down. Now again, most of the time I wouldn't actually shut the device down. This is probably something that you'd only do once a week if that. Uh, even sometimes I find myself only shutting the machine down once a month. Okay, so that's fully off now. The light's gone off on the side. So it shuts down incredibly fast and this is just a standard version of Windows 7. Now let's just turn it back on again. And it's on now, so um, we'll give it a few seconds and uh, we'll boot up. Now again, I stress this, that um, you really only need to reboot your computer with Windows 7 using the right software and programs probably only once a week, if not once a month. You can see that we're booting in there now. It is amazingly fast at booting up. You can see as we get close up on the back there that we've actually got a, uh, a, a digital camera on the back. We've also got the uh, webcam on the front, of course. Um, tucked away in here, we've got a, a full-size USB port. So uh, you can plug your peripherals and devices straight into there. So many times I use my tablet with a USB memory stick to transfer files or something like that. It's available right here on the Slate 7. Um, also you've got your volume rocker here so you can uh, easily turn the volume up and down. You've got a micro HDMI port there so you can also go directly from the tablet into a projector or an external monitor. You've also got your power input just here, as well as an audio in and out feature just there. There's a micro SD slot just on the top here. There's also a microphone array for recording audio. Over on the other side, we've got our rotation lock button and also the power button here. Let's just have a look at the automatic rotation feature. You'll see that Windows really isn't designed for automatic rotation like this, but to be honest, I don't think that's a big deal. It still runs very smoothly with the Samsung. It's got a slight delay built in, and you can see that the, the screen re-renders itself very fast once that delay is acknowledged. The beauty of having the delay in there for the automatic rotation just makes it a lot easier if you do accidentally turn the device around, that it won't do what it's just done then and flip back and forth for you. There's a light sensor just on the side of the device here as well. And what that does is it actually enables the screen to uh, become dimmer and brighter depending on the environment you're in. When you go outside with this tablet, um, what you'll see is it has an incredibly bright screen which allows you to read it quite nicely outside. It's got a very nice viewing angle. You can see that despite the fact that it has the glossy screen which most consumer devices have these days, um, it actually has a very good viewing angle as well. So it's got that full IPS type display. There's also the Windows button on the front here which uh, will enable you to run a special uh, touch overlay that uh, Samsung have built. To be honest, I don't really rate the overlay concept. Um, it's, uh, I think it's really flawed and it's based on the fact that uh, there's a perception in the market that's actually not really valid that uh, Windows isn't designed for touch. Um, but you can see that the touch interface works quite well on there. Scrolling back and forth is nice. Um, looking at pictures and so forth in this type of interface would be great. So for example, the photographer who wants to display his uh, photographs can take a full featured PC. He could even have Photoshop on this if he wanted to and actually take it out to clients and, and show those full pictures. In fact, you could download your pictures straight off the camera in through the USB port without any silly adapters and go straight into the device that way. The, the volume on the device is quite good. It's, uh, it's got quite loud speakers and um, if this video loads up, you get to see how well it plays back video. So just to give you a comparison, I'll show you the ASUS um, EP121, which I have here. Um, 
against the Samsung Slate, and you can see how, how big it is in, in relative, relative size. This, the ASUS has a much bigger screen at 12 inches. The uh, Samsung is an 11 inch screen, so you can see that is a fair bit smaller there, if I just place it right for you. Um, what, what really the key feature is, and, and this shows you where the development of these PCs is really going, is that the thickness of the device, you'll see that the Samsung one is a lot thinner now, it's also a lot lighter and that's really um, what we see changing in these devices. Of course one of the key questions that people will be asking is about battery life, and certainly with the, the current generation, this is the second generation of Intel Core Series processors, what we've seen is the battery life has got a lot longer. So Intel have redesigned the very powerful core series chips but made them more power efficient. And so Samsung are claiming a seven hour battery life on this device here. I wouldn't be surprised to see five or six hours in regular use. There are a couple of limitations for us here in Australia that will prevent me from giving this a recommendation for everybody. Certainly it's not a rugged device, it's not a device that's really going to be used a lot for field users. But what excites me so much about the Series 7 slate is that it shows you what's coming in the next year for Windows tablet PCs. If Samsung can pack a Sandy Bridge Core i5 processor into this tiny little package, imagine what else is just around the corner.